Joe Montagna and Felicity Huffman of Criminal Minds, Evolution discuss David Rossi's PTSD and the background of the BAU. Gold Star presents a fresh threat to the BAU since it connects to the group's past and entices Jill Gideon to rejoin. Joe Montagna talks about the team's struggles dealing with Rossi's involvement in the Gold Star case and his PTSD. Jill Gideon's affiliation with BAU is explained by Felicity Huffman, emphasizing conflicts between her personal and work lives. Following the BAU's capture of the elusive Elias Voigt, a new, mystery unsub has been introduced in the second season of Criminal Minds, Evolution. The team did, however, just learn that Gold Star, their unsub, is not a single unsub and has connections to the BAU's early years. At the conclusion of the sixth episode, David Rossi informed the group that the Gold Star unsubs and the program that produced them were connected to a document he and Jason Gideon authored many years ago that might be interpreted as a formula for producing serial killers. Working with Elias Voigt, the entire BAU has been having difficulty completing their mission to uncover the Gold Star murders. The squad knows the unsub from season one to be a killer, but he's shown himself to be a cunning opponent who has rigged the game by portraying himself as an innocent computer whiz who went in over his head. With the addition of the paper and Jason Gideon's ex-wife, it appears that the seventh episode of Criminal Minds, Evolution will also go more deeply into the BAU's past. Joe Montagna and Felicity Huffman were interviewed by Screen Rant regarding the seventh episode of Criminal Minds, Evolution. Montagna talked on how this season has delved into the past of the BAU and examined Rossi's PTSD. Huffman described her ties with current members of the BAU as well as her link to Jason Gideon. Joe Montagna on examining the BAU's past and his relationship with Jason Gideon in Season 2 of Criminal Minds, Evolution, David Rossi has been battling with his PTSD on his own. He has recently discovered that he might be somewhat to blame for the new unsubs that the team is pursuing, making it impossible to close the Elias Voigt case. Along with the writing, Montaigne talked about how his time in the military gave him insight into Rossi's PTSD. Joe Montaigne, it's on stage if it's written down, that's for sure. They wrote a decent account of what was happening, in my opinion. Paradoxically, I'm somewhat involved in the U.S. military. That's what I've been doing for a long time. I've been the Washington, D.C., host of this Memorial Day performance for 23 years. My point is that, while not being politically inclined, I strongly support our armed forces. However, as a result, I've encountered circumstances where I've come to know specific people who either presently or previously suffered from PTSD. Therefore, I was not unaware of this circumstance nor was it unusual for me to be aware of it. It is necessary to survive, to exist, and to live your life, and I believe I was able to draw on some of that as well. On the other hand, you have to handle this situation. Yes, it's on the page, but it's a bit tough. The text, in my opinion, supported it, so all that was left to do was act out the sequences and hopefully make it work. Felicity, your introduction was fantastic. Could you briefly discuss your role as Jill Gideon with me? Felicity Huffman, I accepted because the writing was excellent and I would be able to perform alongside Joey, an old friend of mine who I have greatly liked for a very long time. Then I arrived on set and everyone was friendly, this is one of the finest sets I've ever been on. As you are aware, they have been together for the past 18 years. People typically start to isolate themselves when that occurs. After the scene ends, everyone heads to their trailer where they genuinely sit and converse in an antiquated manner. They treated me so kindly and with such warmth that I felt like the sixth millionth guest star. On that level, I really enjoy the intro. I found the persona to be quite intriguing. Playing a troubled character who is made to do things against her will is always interesting. Even in the tiny role she will play, her return to this group was only motivated by a sense of personal accountability. 
Given that the relationship between your characters dates back to the very beginning of the BAU, could you briefly discuss it with me? Joe Montaigne, I believe we've found the source of this. They enter the first 16 years. References had been given. We were aware that Gideon was wed, that they had a son, and that Jill was his wife. You know, the foundation was set. It's a luxury, in my opinion, to have a show with that type of endurance because you can now tie it to the past and say, oh, yeah, by the away. Recall the individuals we mentioned earlier? Now, let's meet her. Then you discover that there is a plot there. The plots involving Gideon and Rossi, as well as their relationships with other BAU members, are of course related. Thus, it's excellent. Being able to delve deeper into a story whose foundations have always been there and then decide, okay, let's explore, is always delightful. Felicity Huffman describes Jill Gideon's reluctance to participate in the BAU the story is brought back to the start of the BAU in the paper that Rossi and Gideon prepared. Jill Gideon's connection to the BAU's history extends beyond her friendship with Gideon. Montaigne described how the show's duration has allowed them to delve deeper into the history from previous seasons. Joe Montaigne, the character of Jill, Gideon's ex-wife, is being brought in. It's fantastic because, sure, throughout the seasons, we've seen Gideon drive off in the car and head to who knows where, starting with his departure early in season 3. Of course, a few seasons later, we witness his end. We now have this additional component. Here she is, Jill is here. We're going to learn a lot of things about this individual, both personal and professional, and she will be contributing a lot to the game and the table. It is comparable to life. Felicity, how did you want to handle Jill's past with the BAU and her possible relationship with some of the other characters that were acquainted with Gideon? Felicity Huffman, I believe she has chosen to keep the two apart, at least for the time being. She adores Prentice and Garcia. She adores those people and refuses to interact with the BAU or be drawn back into it since, as fans, I'm sure you know it's a horrible place. They are good guys in a dark world, but she believes that her ex-husband's death was caused by the BAU, which complicates matters further because her ex-husband died and not her husband. I believe she is deeply conflicted and would not return. I believe you can see her hesitation and her reluctance to truly be there in that scene when I get out of the elevator and enter the room. Her relationship with Rossi has a chaotic, convoluted, and unclear past, and a lot of time has passed. It's therefore interesting to have to deal with it once more. I believe the initial spark comes from your thoughts, memories, and personal beliefs about someone. And you realize it's you when you finally meet them face to face. Yes, I do love you in a small way. Yes, I do kind of despise you. It's that contrast. Since Garcia and she were both individuals who had fled this world's darkness only to be drawn back in, will we witness a similar sort of connection between them? Felicity Huffman, not a lot is present. She is mostly concerned with solving the white papers that she feels she is accountable for, which is where the skillful writing comes in. Both Gideon and her have responsibility for. There's not really much time, in my opinion, to say something like, Hey, man, how are you? However, she does adore her and has a deep bond with each of them. The white pages were bastardized to actually create socio and psychopaths, for more than ten years, Montaigne has portrayed David Rossi. He discussed his thoughts on this season and what has stuck out to him while looking into Rossi's trauma. This has been particularly true this season, as his fragility has been more apparent as his facade crumbles. Joe Montaigne, this is a great opportunity to reveal the character's fragility as he has essentially attempted to be unflappable throughout his career. He always tries to take the lead, has a tendency to go his own way, and is a little conceited, little this, little that. Thus, 
what we're witnessing only serves to highlight the fact that anyone can suffer a serious setback under the correct or incorrect set of circumstances. And then the present moment, how do you handle it? It's similar to the proverb, I don't care how many times you fall. Would you please stand up? We shall see. Rossi appears to have been knocked down very severely, and he is still not completely upright. Watch how that develops. You brought up the white pages, Felicity. Could you both discuss with me the sense of duty your characters experience upon discovering that the massive gold star debacle has a connection to something you were both involved in? Felicity Huffman, she seems like a very responsible person to me. They invented it, after all, 18 or 17 years ago, with the intention of saving infants. After then, it was perverted to genuinely produce sociopaths and psychopaths. It is therefore your duty, or hers, if you will, to investigate and try to find a way to put it right, as it is awful when individuals take advantage of your plans. Joe Montaigne, perfectly accurate. When it originates from outside of you, it's awful enough, but what's worse is when you feel like you don't have much stake in the outcome. Increases its intensity and impact on you. Criminal Minds, development Even though Elias Voigt was apprehended by the BAU last year, they now consider Gold Star to be their top priority after discovering that Voigt is meeting with the DOJ on the case. In order to capture Gold Star and possibly discover a method to keep Voigt imprisoned, the BAU is now compelled to cooperate with him. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from O Criminal Minds, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.